What's about there? I have a new build and we are currently level 85. So if I go into my Atlas tree, I've changed some things. I don't remember exactly where it was. I think I've gone into Eater of Worlds and I may have gone into Breach a little bit since the last video. So what I'm working on in Breach is to get over into the, the Hidden, Maven's Invitation, the Hidden, which I actually did two of the bosses there, but I was already selected on to Eater of Worlds, so I didn't did not get them Maven witnessed, unfortunately. So I went through a bunch of effort to try to get those. I, I have two of them done, and then I didn't get it done. So I'm collecting fragments over there, and now I basically have to start over. I think I did the Tull one and the Ash one. I think these are the two that I did, which is weird because they don't do Chayula. There's five of them. I'm not sure why that one's not counted, but it's not. Now, this build is, because I've been doing the Eater fight, I've been getting this Gluttonous Tide. I've gotten it a couple of times, I think. And I kind of wanted to see how this thing went. So I leveled up to 58, got to use this, and then I switched over to uh, Sliver Tongue for a little bit. This seems like the best bow that I can get as a unique. I ran basically all unique stuff for a long time. And the I think the person that created this build was Garatha. Let me back up for a second. So the first time I went after looking, I got, I got that bow. I went on the internet and I Googled up a, a build and I was looking at, I don't remember. It was somebody off the forums and said they had a, this great build for caustic arrow. And I thought, all right, cool. I'll check it out. Our toxic rain. It was some other skill. I don't remember exactly which one it was. I thought it looked cool. I started going down the path for it. And if I go to the passive tree, their passive tree basically came out and went down into here somewhere. We came down into, I think we were way over into the, the totems and stuff like that, I think. I don't remember exactly where it was. But when I got to where they wanted you to switch over, not necessarily switch over, but I got I, I tried seeing what they were trying to do with that build. And it seemed to me like you were just going to run over, drop a bunch of totems and run off like have no direct combat at all. And I did not like that style. It was not me. And it just didn't fit the way I, I went. And it was, you started off with caustic arrow, went for a while and then switched to something else. And I don't remember what the other thing was. I didn't like the build. I thought this sucks. I'm, I'm not going to deal with it, but I had a level 40 or 50, um, pathfinder going. I think this is pathfinder. So, I had this going and I was like, well, I don't want to lose it. And I like Caustic Arrow. So I looked up Caustic Arrow and it's this, I think it's Garatha. I apologize if I get that wrong, but this build is solid. So I ended up redoing a bunch of points off of like they, the other build came up, I think across the top here and then had a bunch of stuff coming down. I regret or a lot of things off of this and ended up with this. This is mostly where the build goes. It's level 85. I am missing this careful conservationist. I am also missing the node that goes over to this jewel socket. And there's another jewel socket here. I think I need to pick up. And I think there's a couple of other points somewhere along here that I'm not getting maybe a, a mastery or two somewhere, but for the most part, this is the build. And then at some point he comes off of, I think start going off these jewel sockets. Oh, I need to pick up this ghost dance. I don't know what it does. I'm sure it's probably important to have. I just don't have it right at the moment. I prioritize getting up here to atrophy first. And then I noticed that I was missing this careful conservationist. I've gone through all but one of the, um, oh, the, the labyrinth things. The last one that I have to do is basically to get this here for these two. The, for some reason, they don't go into master surgeon, nature's boon, master or master, master distiller. They just go to these two little nodes here. So the pretty much the one you want is master toxicist, nature's reprisal, uh, and then nature's adrenaline. So this one gives 50% increased effect of withered and a 25% chance to afflict withered. And then master toxicist basically just spreads all this out when potions are going off. And then somewhere in here, yeah, this nature's adrenaline, you get flash charges every three seconds. So this build is pretty fun. I like this. I may actually league start this. For gear, one of the things that the, I don't remember if it was the build that I'm working on now or the previous build, one of them called for this snake bite. And I have, I knew I had this because I kept coming, I've ran across this thing a few times 
and I thought it was kind of a cool looking glove. Turns out I had it. So this is the only unique I'm left with. I've been slowly replacing all my gear out. Now the gear is not perfect by any stretch. This is not great gear, but I finally have an item level 85 thicket bow that I can use. I don't have any six links or anything. The other cool thing about this is I was able to actually just scavenge a bunch of stuff like all of these different um, flasks. I, because this is using armor and evasion, I was able to scavenge a bunch of gear. I think this hel uh, the helmet I built, but like the rest of this, I scavenged from my other builds. So I still have my bone shatter juggernaut. That's like, I'm not touching that build at all. But my bone shatter slayer build and that perforate ground slam build that I've been tinkering around with, I just ganked a whole bunch of stuff off of that. I should have grabbed some gems off of it because I'm using a bunch of life taps and angers and stuff like that. But uh, I did not. But the rest of this is like all different skills. So basically what I'm running is Caustic Arrow, which has greater volley, vicious projectiles, swift affliction, and chance to poison. And then eventually I'll get void manipulation. Uh, then we're running the Frenzy with Mana Forged Arrows, Culling Strike, and Life Tap on the boots. On the gloves, we've got Grace, Anger, and Herald of Agony with flame dash on here. And then in the helmet, we've got Arcanist brand, temp chains and despair. Now I think something keeps casting despair and I'm not sure what it is exactly, but every time I turn around, it's something's got despair. I haven't really used this Arcanist brand unless I'm really fighting a boss or something, which I haven't really gotten too far. We're up, I'm up to map tier nine. I tried a tier eight earlier and we are level 85. So I've been really working on this quite a bit. And then on, before I get into the build, I guess the, uh, the last thing is toxic rain of spore burst. I actually got this. I've been going as I go through the uh, lab, do lab runs. I've been trying to get gems, some of these transcendent gems or transfigured gems, whatever they're called. And I ended up getting this toxic rain of spore spore burst. So I'm not a toxic rain fan. I don't like it. I don't like something that you shoot up in the air and wait for it to come down and hit the ground. I'm not a fan of that. I like stuff that you can directly just apply to somebody, but with mana forged arrows and life tap, this thing just goes off and does its own thing and I don't have to care. So we've got chance to poison and void manipulation on here. Could probably do some different things with this. So what this build is supposed to be is, now I'm not doing the build the exact way that the, it's, it is. I'm following the passive tree and I'm getting the uh, sort of the concept uh, for, I guess let me explain what it is first. This is supposed to use tinctures and it's supposed to use one of those tinctures that has uh, all attacks poison. I don't even know if I have one. Yes, all damage can poison. So it's supposed to use this right here. And basically what you do is you throw uh, some kind of fire gem on here and then you're supposed to use, uh, it's one of these green ones. I can't remember which one it is now. Uh, is it scourge? Oh, that one might've been a scourge arrow. Something in here is, it's, uh, I don't remember which one it is. It's the, it's whatever this is that shoots lightning out. Uh, I don't remember which one it is now, but there's one of these that shoots lightning. Like it, it's, uh, that's it, storm rain. So storm rain is supposed to be where toxic rain is. So the gist of it is that you put a fire gem in here, a, a fire um, support gem in here that adds fire damage. And then you put one, put this storm rain on here so it's doing lightning. And then you have lightning and fire damage on your bow with that tincture. So it's all doing, uh, basically everything's doing uh, poison damage. Or everything can poison, I guess, is the way to say that. And that's fine. I'm not, I don't, I don't know, I don't like the tincture system that much. I'd rather go primalist myself and go that route. I'm just not a fan of tinctures. I, I'd prefer to have the, um, I prefer to have that little tray on the side. And I do like the, the, the stuff we can get with Primalist. I think that's just, I, I don't know. I, the other side of the coin, it not only just not liking how that works or not liking tinctures all that much. I mean, I'm sure they're great, but they're not going to be here next league. And I'm actually kind of considering league starting this. This is fun. I see why you guys like bow builds and I, it's unfortunate to see where uh, bleed builds are because if bleed builds were like this, oh my God, this would be amazing. Like you can just melt, well, I say that and then I die, but you can melt packs of creatures. And actually I don't want anger on here, do I? 
because I don't want fire damage. I have to rethink that. I don't want fire damage on here because that was with the other build. So I need to pick a different aura that goes in here. I have to find something different for that. But it, it, at any rate, it doesn't matter. Um, actually, I guess I could use it because I do have... If I had that tincture, it would be perfect because I have fire damage on my bow. So it would work out. So I could switch over to tinctures for a little while and try it. Like I said, I just kind of wanted to see how this build worked. Because if I league start this next time... I would not be using the, you know, the tinctures aren't going to be available. We'll be doing something different. What's over here that killed me? Now, it's also funny. I was kind of laughed at myself every time I play this because you can definitely tell that I am a melee player because I just kind of stand my ground and blast whatever comes at me. I don't move a whole lot and I end up dying a lot. Uh, what's on here that's killing me? Lightning is damaged. Oop. Oh, my lightning res sucks. Yeah, that's why this is going to be terrible. So I don't have my resistances very well. I've only got 78% lightning res. That's what's going to be killing me. All right, so that explains that. But this build is fun. Like you, sh and I, I actually tinkered around with that toxic rain for a little bit. I found out that mana forged arrows uh, are like a triggering system. So as long as you spend enough of the mana, boom, you can hit mana forged arrows. So you can call it in and do all kinds of crazy stuff with it. Like I had it, um, we've got frenzy going off and we've got toxic rain of spore burst going off, but I also had uh, uh, toxic rain, I think going off too. Like I had all kinds of different stuff going on because I did, I had plenty of sockets. I hadn't really started building into the way this was supposed to be. Uh, I was still kind of, uh, just out of the campaign campaign took me about nine hours and that included tinkering around with gear a lot of gear that included a basic a complete respec because i didn't like where things were going so uh, the campaign went very smooth i mean call it 10 hours by the time i got through all the little extra crap we had to go do we're probably going to die at the boss here because i don't have lightning but the fact that i can actually use I've kind of been, you know, if you followed me for a while, I always talk about wanting to have multiple builds and I like having one build for this one build for that. It's kind of cool to have different ones. The thing I really like about this is that it uses a lot of the same gear that bone shatter does. So it's not that much different, you know, finding the gear, uh, pretty much the same thing. It's just for a different purpose. So I kind of like this build a lot. And I think I might league start this. I'm going to try it out. That's kind of why I'm trying to stay away from tinctures uh, to see how this would work without them. And I don't want to necessarily build this with fire. I don't really like the fact that I have fire on this bow, but I really don't have any other, uh, I mean, without tinctures and stuff, I don't know if I can convert fire to chaos or something. Maybe there is some way to do that. If I could do that, that'd be great which is basically the, the idea of the tincture system anyway, or using tinctures for that. So if I could do that, maybe I'll come up with that or something. I'm not sure. Uh, but yeah, we're doing tier eight maps right now. No big deal. Get out of here before I end up dying. No big deal. This, this, but I've been working at this build quite a bit too. Like I've spent a significant amount of time on this. I started this, I don't know, two, three days ago. And I basically just cranked on it. How old is this account? Uh, 18 hours, 19 hours. So it's, if I put three or four hours a day on it, I put a lot of time on it yet last night and today. So that probably accounts for a good eight hours of it. Cause I, I played quite a bit of that. So probably well, Friday, yesterday is when I got through the campaign and then it was probably Thursday, Wednesday, Tuesday. I started this Tuesday or Wednesday, something like that. Like I said, I kept finding that bow and I was checking it out and I really liked it. So what I'm doing now is just basically crafting all the gear that I, I can use. This is not the best gear. This is not great gear by any means. I had all uniques when I came out of the campaign and I wanted to get away from that and try to do my own crafting on this. And like I said, I pulled the boots and the the belt, the boots, I think the rings, and maybe even the amulet and the chest piece, all of this came from some other build. The helmet I put together for this one, and these are unique gloves, and then of course the the all the flasks came from another build. But then 
this here and this here, the bow and the arrow, the quiver and all that, those are crafted. But I was really short on, uh, I, I completely ran out of jeweler's orbs, fusings, chromes. I blew out all the, the regret orbs. I had a whole ton of unmakings and I pulled out of whatever I was there and moved over into the other stuff and did that. Um, so I'm, I'm trying to get awakened gems. I'm trying to mess around with just other things. And I did notice that uh, do, 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 this is awakened burning damage. I think what I wanted was awakened fire damage for this, if I was going to put that in there. And they had some other weird stuff. It took me a while to figure out what they were doing, but then I remembered that it was the tincture thing. So I've got some awakened gems that are just not anything I can use. What I'm hoping for is that this will be a decent bossing build from what the the first guy that I saw on the forum was talking about is that he could do all the Ubers and all that stuff. I don't know how viable that is for this build, you know, with what I've got going, I don't know, but I was reading it on there. He was talking about that bone chatter kind of runs into to issues there. I like bone chatter. It's fun. Uh, it is a lot of button presses where this is straight up, right? Click. I, I, I occasionally have to put my hand on the keyboard and, push the space bar for uh, flame dash or maybe heal or something. But like there's, this is a pretty hands-off build. You, it's just straight up right click, left click, right click, left click, right click. And you can hold left click and just press this. And it casts all this crap on the ground and it starts blasting things. And it mows through a lot of stuff quick. So I'm, I'm definitely digging this. Uh, I have a fire bow skin, which I don't like, but I don't know. I need to, I need to get a, uh, some different microtransactions for that. And I, I kind of want a different microtransaction for maybe some of the effects on this. I don't know. Deal with all that later. Wait for it to be on sale. They got the stash sale this weekend. So I'll see if any of that ever comes up. Think about it. But I do need to get the last lab run done. And I've got about 10 more levels I can do. Uh, get it to 95 or whatever. And this build is doing rather well. I need to get a six link here and a six link here, the bow and the chest plate both, and then we'll be just rocking along. But as far as everything goes, I think this is a fun, fun build. Uh, my defenses are kind of not great. I got great eva or decent evasion, I guess, 18,000, but my armor kind of sucks. Uh, oh, I meant to mention this in the last video. So I was and maybe I did, I don't remember, but I was watching, uh, Captain Lance was talking about using Zodiac leather. If you have this, uh, here, uh, here, iron reflexes, which converts all evasion to armor, you can actually use this thing here. This apparently is better than, uh, one of these, gl uh, glorious plates for, as far as, because you're getting more evasion off of it. And then it converts to armor and gets raised even further then because of that, these Zodiac leathers are really good. And some of the things that I've been using here, uh, I can't remember. There's something in here, something about if you have evasion on everything, you get extra accuracy or something. Oh, spell suppression. You get a chance to suppress spell damage if equipped helmet, body armor, gloves, and boots all have evasion. So I was thinking about that. I could actually use evasion gear for the helmet, the body, and the boots, I don't know how important armor is on this kind of setup. Maybe evasion is the way to go. Just go straight up all evasion and not have any armor because armor is not, I, I don't know. Maybe that's, I don't know if that's the way to go or not. I do want to look into that and see. I, I just haven't got to the research part of it to see which one's actually better. But I was thinking about that. I do have some Zodiacs because I started collecting these because of work and see if I can work it into my bone shatter build. Oh, and the other thing. I found this badass thing today. This here, I wonder how well this is going to work with Bone Shatter. This thing has the Bringer of Rain Nightmare Bassinet. Armor and Evasion, which is exactly what I need. This thing's got socketed gems are supported by level 30 melee fizz damage, level 30 faster attacks, which are both on Bone Shatter. Socketed gems are supported by level 30 blind, which I don't care about, but man, that's pretty cool too. 6% chance to block damage. Block attack damage adds 20 to 30 physical damage to attacks, 256 and 258% increased armor and evasion, plus 261 to max life, 20% chance to gain an endurance charge when you block, and oh, you can't use chest armor. Okay, so that's that's kind of crazy. Maybe I don't want this then. 
It looked really cool. Can't use chest armor is not that good. This would actually be good with the whatever that tincture is. It says you don't, you know, you can't have gems or something. That might be good there. I don't know. Maybe not. All right. So this isn't as cool as I thought it was. I saw the 30 melee fizz and 30 faster attack, and I thought that was cool. I didn't realize you couldn't wear um, chest piece with it. That sucks. But anyway, I, th I saw that and I thought that'd be really cool. That could elevate you know, level 30, man. It's got to be a pretty decent amount of damage. But if you're losing that much uh, defensive layer out of it, that might suck. So unfortunately, maybe that's not going to be the cool thing I thought it was. I didn't know I was going to fit it anyway because a, a lot of my helmets have, uh, well, this has got fire resist. Some of, some of the helmets that I have have like all the different resistances on them and it's going to be hard to get it out of them. But anyway, uh, new build. I am really digging this. I definitely see why people like this. You move fast. You shoot fast. Uh, you can just blast the hell out of things. I like the Pathfinder part where it just restores all your potions and everything. I've been trying to go through the labs and get that last little bit of it, but I keep dying in there. <sighs> My usual thing, I don't like labs all that much. It's not as miserable because I do have life regen and there's some leech in here somewhere. Uh, leech is up here. Yeah. Li attack damage leeched is mana and life. And then gain four life per enemy hit and mana per hit. So you kind of keep boosted up on that stuff, but I don't know. I still don't like labs all that much. Today's lab really sucked. It was just traps and crap everywhere. And I was like, all right, I ended up dying to something stupid, but maybe if I get a few more levels up here, get to like level 90 or something like that, it might be easier. Cause I way over leveled and I did the third lab pretty easily. Uh, the first time I went through it, I was right at the level and I couldn't get through it. But anyway, new build. I'm really digging this. I'm curious to see how this does with bossing. Uh, I've been wanting to do more labs or trying to do a little bit more labs to get the transfigured uh, gem for this. I don't know if it's any good or not. A caustic arrow seems fine as it is. I may not worry about it. But at any rate, new build. I'm curious to see how this goes. I'm definitely curious to league start this next time. And like I said, I kind of like the idea of having two different builds, Bone Shatter for Delve and stuff like that, and then a mapping build. Like this could get you through the campaign very quickly, and then you just do a Bone Shatter build after that, and this shares all the same gear, so basically you could League Start either one and have two different good builds for mapping, bossing, whatever all that kind of stuff is. I'm curious to see what this one does when it gets powered up. And especially... I know this is different with tinctures, but I'm curious to see what can be done with it now, now that I've got a little understanding of how these builds kind of go together. I'm curious how I, what I can do with it and see if I can get it where it's somewhat usable without tinctures. So anyway, that will do it for this video. We will catch you on the next one. Take care.